Alrighty, what's up guys? Matt here from Loon Outdoors and today <clears throat> we're tying a Copper John for the 4th of July. Now this is a special edition America Copper John. Only American trout will eat this one. But uh, this is because they're patriotic. So we're going to start with some uh, 0.25 non-lead wire. I've got a Firehole 551, a hairline modeled jig bead in blue and uh, I'm going to take about eight wraps or so of this non-lead wire and we're going to use our sacrificial scissors here to do like the final trim on it. Don't use your uh, A number one scissors. Uh, next up I'm going to use some Vivas 50D gel spun polyester or GSP because it's my favorite and this is totally an attractor pattern it's kind of like fireworks it's gonna bring people in uh, from a distance it'll bring trout in from a distance <clears throat> so one trick I do there is I push down and I'm gonna go ahead and start building up here uh, just a bit working back and forth. I don't want to do a super ramped up taper, but uh, just a little bit will help. Uh, next up, we're going to use some biots, and these are going to be in red. If you guys want to tie Copper Johns in other colors, you can tie them in pretty much any color of the rainbow. And it's one of the best attractor patterns probably of all time. So I'm going to put a feather on each side or a biot on each side as you guys can see um, and I just pull tight there I put one wrap in there and one wrap that way and what I like to do personally is I just wrap these forward kind of helps build a little bit of bulk secures them in there and you get that nice split tail there and we're going to trim off the excess here we'll just kind of continue wrapping forward here. Um, next up is going to be our wire. I'm going to use some uh, Uni Ultra Wire, medium blue. You can use a fine wire. Um, really just depends on how you guys want this to look at the end of the day. The fine wire does give it uh, kind of a narrower body, but since we're making the sink, <laughs> there we go. Um, we're gonna go with this and I like to put the wire right on top it's my little deal that I do you can do whatever you like and I like to get it right back down into the base of the split biot tail <clears throat> and from there we're gonna go ahead and build up a nice thread base so that this is as smooth as possible using 50 it's going to take you a hot second so just stick with it you will get there eventually I will continue my thread base forward uh, until where I'm going to put in my thorax my legs all of that stuff and I'm just trying to make this as smooth as possible so you can see we have like a nice ramp built up now and just to get this kind of out of my way, I'll throw a couple half hitches in there. And now I'm going to come in and do my wire work. So I like to make these real nice and tight uh, wire wise. So every once in a while, you can push on it with your finger. If you get spaces in there, anything like that. Um, if you're tying with a similar color base thread or anything like that, you can just keep on trucking. Fish are never going to notice. It's going by them at a pretty fast clip, and they're just not going to catch on. If anything, it might look like a little bit more body segmentation. So when I get up here, I'm actually just going to kind of chase the wraps that I did with the wire it kind of does tend to just fall in there 
and then I just kind of go over the top really really to secure that wire in and this guy we can go ahead and helicopter this in <clears throat> so next up because it's the 4th of July it wouldn't be complete without the most awesome wing case ever created so uh, what I have here is some ice dub steely blue you guys can see it in with some holographic silver and that is going to be my first in part of my wing case there's a little variation on the original uh, copper John obviously that would be a uh, piece of flashaboo and actually you know what let's do it this way sorry one second just had a more fun idea so I'm going to take a biot because I like biots and I'm going to tie that in first we're going to get as much red white and blue in this thing as we can <clears throat> so now I'm going to take just a good pinch enough of this to create the wing case Okay. anything that comes out with it doesn't need to be there obviously wasn't meant to be alrighty and from here what we're going to use for our thorax some ice dub minnow belly we're going to dub a hearty portion of this onto the fly building a nice heavy-duty thorax and I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space right here so the way I do my legs on copper johns is so I have a like a saddle hackle or a schlappen feather or you know whatever feather is your favorite partridge works great so what I do is I cut a V out of it and I hold that little V and I secure it in and then you're going to get your leg segments they're going to match be even as long as your feathers even and kind of just makes it pretty easy come back in there and Trim that nice and tight. And I'm going to kind of continue to dub here. Because Copper John typically has like a uh, peacock thorax, but they don't make, uh, well, they make it. I guess they don't make it. It's kind of a natural thing. Um, what I'll do is I'll pull our wing case over, round one of the wing case. And I'm going to go ahead and spread this out just a bit <clears throat> and then I'll pull the red over there's just a little bit of flash on either side and this is kind of uh, it's kind of an homage to an s and M. I don't mind the white thread showing because this is a red white and blue fly So the next little trick that we do here is I'm just going to trim this, not all the way, but nice and short. And then uh, I'm going to use some thin and just start building a really cool little wing case here. And I like to turn it upside down. That gives you the super cool bubble technique. And I'm using the bench light here. We'll hit that with the cure. I leave the light on as I'm building these these bubbles. And again, since gravity is kind of pulling this downwards, it's going to create a really elaborate, like overemphasized bubble on here. Um, and kind of a really cool look, truthfully. So now that we have that all done, we have created 
a ultimate red, white, and blue copper john for today. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.